number 55,251. And like I said, whenever I do something, a lot of times it's as much for me as it is for you. I'm like, oh, you know what? I need to tell my peeps how I'm effing up or when I'm doing okay, like we did on those positions, right? Because we all can learn from each other. And long story endless, as I know I've told it a hundred times. So uh, John, Brian, Jeff, you guys want to get a, a, a beer? Yeah, I'll, I'll be done in a couple of minutes. But long story endless, uh, I remember, and I try not to trade. I don't want to make it sound like I trade e a lot, but every now and then I'll squeeze off a few. And I remember when I was trying to get into it a few years back, I came in one day and and I'd lost like three days in a row or whatever. And I'm, you know, like like a definition of insanity. I want to, or beating your head against the wall. It feels so good when you stop, you know? So, and I came in the next day and it's like, I didn't get any trades. I'm like, well, that's odd. I didn't get any trades all day long. And then the next day I didn't get any trades. I'm like, well, that's two days in a row. The third day, I made money and I it, I forget exactly how it went, but I know that I was like, what the hell is happening? I'm not getting any trades and the trades that I'm getting for the most part seem to be working. And then I realized by accident, I changed my intraday charts to 30 minutes. And from that point forward, I changed all my charts to 30 minutes. I was looking at a five minute chart or something like that. And the other day, and I don't remember exactly what day it was, and I can go and find it, but it, that's inconsequential. The, the other day, a week and a half ago, I had, by accident, I had a five-minute chart up on the Sox L. And this thing starts taking off, and I'm like, I just jumped in it. I felt like I, I had extreme FOMO. And then it just implodes. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I'm like, why did I chase my tail? I better get out. And all of a sudden, it goes straight back up. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then I lay, it's like, oh, you dumbass. It, you know, your charts were changed back to five minutes for some reason. But anyway, I just did a screen capture going back a week or so ago. And you could see the socks out. I really didn't do a whole lot in those periods. It kind of went down a little, went up a little. You know, maybe there would have been a trade or two in this. But for the most part, especially in hindsight, there's not a whole lot of trades. But then take a look at the five-minute chart, okay? So it's it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's Jackie Mason. And if you're looking at that, you're thinking this thing is going to the moon, Alice implied, right? Anyway, you can see that it's much, you get into much less trouble on a different time frame. Now, if 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 the five minutes your time frame, knock yourself out. I'm not criticizing anybody for the way to trade. There's more than one way to skin a cat. But just make sure you're within your time frame. It kind of reminds me of sort of Side note, it reminds me of what Linda Rasky said. There's a what are these, she talks about all these different ways that people will do things that are that are bad behaviors, and one of them is keep changing your time frame till you get the chart you want. <laughs>